Hey everybody, welcome to the next exciting mission of Duke Nukem Attrition 3D Special Edition uh, Champion Turbo Mode. I am still Nigroth, I still have Deceitful Penguin here with me. I'm not going anywhere, baby. I have him locked up next to Fataku's corpse. Well, he's not. Fataku isn't dead. He'll be back at some point. He's he's busy. He's a very busy man, I guess. I don't really know him much. He he's a Garcon, which is French. You mean Garçon? No, it's uh, C O N. <laughs> But this particular level, Warp Factor, is, uh, it's gonna be hard to notice, but it actually is mirrored, which I will attribute to my lackluster performance, I suppose, and not do the fact that somehow or another I completely ran out of, like, shotgun and, like, normal ammo, I suppose, so I'm having to deal the best I can with the exotic weapons. But he says, like, before, you think they'd learn about suicide bombers. I thought the problem with suicide bombers was the fact that they, it has a very steep learning curve, suicide bombing. Yeah, well actually that reminds me of a, of a movie that just uh, recently came out called Four Lions. Oh, it's so great! <laughs> oh, you, you actually got around to seeing it. Yes, it's wonderful. Oh, I'm, I've still been meaning to watch it. I, I really do enjoy uh, Christopher Morris. He's the uh, the guy that directed. Uh -huh. He uh, like uh, he he's he's known quite a bit as being a bit controversial in British comedy. It he did a it, uh, it is absolutely hilarious. And I guess if you have you know like these Muslims and terrorism, it is pretty controversial. Yeah, he he had originally done a show back in the back in the day called uh, Brass. Oh, it's that guy, pedophile special guy. Yeah. We we've collected all the children into this large stadium to keep them safe from the pedophiles. Did you know that we have more in common pedophiles and more in common with crabs than you and I? Genetically. Yeah. I I, I remember the start of that special was like, I think it had Abraham Lincoln fucking a woman, and he was like, just picture this ripe, beautiful woman is actually an underage child being fucked by Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> and it, yeah, th well that, that was actually, uh, I think the series ran for like two seasons, but... It was it was very interesting, and there there was another precursor show to that called uh, the Day Today, which was also very good. I, if only because it, he would completely belittle this one particular newscaster because the guy w was awful with uh, lying, I suppose. It was you know it was what well, five episodes and a special, and it was just a beautiful thing. That guy. No, 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 it, it was two seasons. It was no, like, no, pretty uh, seasons are really short. No, but I mean, press yeah, no, on. there's six, so it's like 12. Math. Huh? Math. Press, 12 press eye episodes. Yeah, 12 episodes in the special. Oh, I don't remember a lot of them. Well, you, well, I don't think they're really posted on YouTube in their entirety. Yeah. I ended up having to get them through. Special means, huh. but you know, it, well, it was the same thing with like uh, another really great show called uh, Misfits. It's not really widely available in America, if at all, and I think it's mostly because of music licensing problems. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. It, well, that, yet again, that reminds me of another show, like uh, sketch comedy show off MTV, that. Basically got stuck in limbo forever. Beavis because and Butthead. It, it, uh, not that. I, I honestly could give two shits about that. But yeah, I'll, <laughs> that's a good that's a good example because it's basically like, all right, well, sixty percent of the show is them watching music videos and referencing boobs or penises. So you, you've lost, you know, a good portion of the show. I still have good memories of that show. Did you uh, did you see the fact they're like making new episodes? What? Yeah, I guess uh, since 
King of the Hill finally went off the air, they're like, oh, well, let's let him go back to doing the same shit on a different format. King of the so, Hill is dead? Uh, I can only hope so, because that fucking show was awful. What? It was like, I sell propane and propane accessories. That was the show, yes. And he was American and things. It was it was a slice of Americana for the foreign nations of the world. Everything I know about the American South comes from that show. Oh, I thought it'd be from like the Civil War or Sanford and Son. What? Sim baby. Dukes of Hazard. Civil War? You mean the Slave War? Uh yeah. Oh, yeah. Back when back when the old republic harnessed their droid uh, federation to overthrow Boba Fett and Jabba. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna you know I, uh, clearly in, in canonical sense. I'm not even uh, I'm, don't even start with me. I, I have read the majority of the expanded universe literature available and I just am petrified with disgust. No, no. What is that yeah, huge you, thing? You, you, uh, that's a battle lord. Well, it's a mini. I think it's a mini battle lord. It was. That was actually one of the final. That was the final boss in episode one. You remember the Grand Canyon where I, I almost. Died? Yeah, but I, that's why I was wondering because that one died pretty quickly. Yeah, I think that was a mini battle lord. So. Less lord in him. Uh, yeah. Less, less armoring and girth to withstand the barrage of hellfire. I love the fact that Duke sounds very surprised that that guy exploded and burned. That That's something he hasn't seen before, certainly. I figured that rocket would be a dud. I thought I was sending him a smiley face. Are you gonna say... Uh, I assume you were gonna say bitches love smiley face. What? Exactly. Uh, but yeah, this this level is just yet again really going back to the whole reason of why I don't like it. It has some nice set pieces. Like this is, you know, fairly interesting. The whole panorama of Earth. Hey, I can see my house from here. In space. Yep. Your house is in space. That's pretty cool. No, I can see my uh, lonely island. Isn't that the area of the last? chapter though behind you like that map of California no that looks more like an entire well actually yeah that does kind of look like California because it's mirrored see I know because San Andreas was a GTA game well I don't I mean the more I looked at it, I thought I was seeing Florida but then I realized that could have been Baja California Baja is kind of this uh, desert area stretching down into in Mexico. Oh, they they do they do a lot of ra uh, rally racing there. So it's like is that what TK Bar from Borderlands is a reference to? Mm, what? Nothing. I never played Borderlands. You are missing out. That game is full of guns and explosions, and everything is killing everything. It's. I think I I think I got enough of that here. <laughs> But yeah, all, I mean already we're pretty much at the end of the level. We're we're in the midst of the reactor, so I guess Duke must be a part reptile. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see you next time for more Duke Nukem Attrition. Yep. See you later, alligator. Dang, I should have said 